Supplements in a nutshell, a basic stack. So for me, my day starts with a vitamin B drop. I, uh, it's an eyedropper that goes under the tongue. I do a vitamin D supplement if I know that sun is gonna be limited or I can't get in the sun. I do a probiotic. I do a fish oil, Primal Body. You'll, you'll catch that link below. And then I suggest a multivitamin. Now here's, the, here's sort of a kicker. The protein that I've created has a multivitamin, has glutamine, which I suggest, and has amino acids. So it's almost like three in one. Um, I usually take that a couple times a day, usually in the morning and sometimes post-workout. Now, and I also do a BCAA uh, intra-workout. Now there's tons of supplements out there, right? Creatine I've experimented with, L-arginine, beta-alanine, even CLA, right? But here's the thing, you guys. Start with a basic stack. Don't buy everything under the sun. Because when you buy everything under the sun, you don't know what works and what's not working. So start with a basic stack, assess it, make sure that your diet is dialed in because if your diet is di not dialed in, you have no business taking supplements, period. If you're out eating processed foods, refined carbs and sugar, and you think CLA or Super HD or some fat burner is gonna magically make you ripped, you have got another thing coming. Get with Whole Foods, create a basic stack, and then if you wanna try something else, try something else one at a time. Don't rush in and add three supplements just because some ripped guy in a cover tells you that they're amazing. Because he's likely doing a lot more than just the supplement he's suggesting. Keep that in mind. Try one at a time for 30 to 60 days so that you can pinpoint the results and not throw your money in the trash. That's supplements in a nutshell. That's a very solid basic stack. Start there. Remember, whole foods first, supplements second. Take care.